Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. In today's video I'm gonna show you a bunch of things I've been getting lately so this is gonna be more like a collective haul and I'm gonna mainly show you things from Doll Skill, Widow especially, Devil Inspired, Blood Supply and Pandora Witch Shop. Let's start with Widow because there is one thing I got from them recently that I'm super excited about that I've been wanting for like two years and I'm so happy that I finally got it. So First of all, I got this dress. By the way, I'm not sure if any of this will be available still. I got it recently, but I'm not sure if it's still in stock. And as usual, I will either circle the size I got or I will write everything down in the description box. So make sure you check it out if there's anything you like from this video, because I usually leave all the links, info, sizes, and everything you might need. So here it is. It is really beautiful, but I got it in a different size than my usual. I will tell you why in a moment. But let's try it on first. Here is how the dress looks like on me. It is lovely, but this time I got it in a size small. I usually go with an excess for widow slash doll skill because it always suits my body type perfectly. It really feels like their excess is made to matter for me. Probably the brand that fits me the best. But this time I went with a small first of all because my size was sold out and I really wanted this dress. And second, because I have a similar dress to this one, it's another baby doll dress from Widow that I have here. As you can see, it's almost the same design but with a different print. And let me tell you, although the size fits me perfectly once it's on, putting it on, it's impossible because it's not stretchy and it doesn't have a zipper. So it's always super difficult for me to put it on, take it off and I end up never wearing it because of that reason. I'm not sure if I should add a zipper on the side, it would make it a lot more comfortable to put on or what I should do. So this time I decided to size up for this one, but it's way too big on me. If I lean forward or anything, you will see everything. I'm not sure how obvious it is on the screen, but it's way too big, especially the neck part is way too wet for my body. So it doesn't look the best, it's not the most comfortable, but if I use a corset, it changes everything. So let me show you. I've had this corset from Widow for like two years, so it's probably not in stock anymore, but I love it and I think it goes perfectly with this dress. This is completely different, it's no longer big, it suits me perfectly. I think it looks even more beautiful because it's not, I mean it's not a boring dress at all, but it makes it even more interesting and I'm just obsessed with this look. I always wear this together because I think it matches perfectly. So what do you think? Other than the fact that it should have a zipper, for sure, I think the fabric for this one is really thin. The other one I showed you before that I got, I don't know, like three years ago, I'm not sure. It's a tiny bit thicker, but this one is really thin, so I would probably wear it with shorts underneath because I'm afraid of it being transparent in certain lights or situations, so I would recommend wearing this one with shorts underneath. It's short, but it's not too short or short enough to require them, but because it's super thin, I would do it anyway. Next from Widow, I got this dress, and I already have it in a bunch of colors, but I thought, why not, let's get it in black now. So, here it is. It's really beautiful, I love the design, I love everything about it, and that's why I have it in a bunch of colors already. But yeah, this one is my size, it's an extra small, and I already know it fits me well because I have the other ones, but let's try this on. Now that it's on, you can see how beautiful it is. I love the way it's built with cups, with, you know, this part is super fitting and tight. I love it. The fabric is stretchy, by the way, I think I mentioned it, but the previous one was not stretchy at all, just in case you need to know that. I think it's obvious that I really love this design because I have the purple one and a red and a mauve variant. They aren't exactly the same, but they are more or less built the same in terms of how they fit my body. So yeah, this is a design that's really really made for my body type and it looks really comfortable, elegant, nice and I think the cross gives it an extra touch of something that makes it super interesting. So what do you think? I really really like it. Now I'm gonna show you my favorite thing in this video. I usually leave my favorite things for the end of the video because I want to keep you watching until the end, but this time I'm gonna be nice, especially because I'm organizing things with brands, and I'm gonna show you this right now. I finally got one of my favorite pairs of boots ever. They're also from Widow, if you can probably read it. I'm not sure if it's super visible. I've wanted these boots for so, so long. And I finally got them because they were sold out in my size for a long time. 3, 2, 1. Here they are. 
I'm obsessed with them. They match my room perfectly, so I've had them in my room since I got them. And I think I'm gonna leave them as decor because I don't think I'm gonna have so many chances to use them. But they're so pretty and they go so well with the looks I like. Especially I like to see because I'm not such a pink girl, but I love watching people and seeing people dressed in pink. So since I have no one to dress in pink, I'm gonna do it myself. They are really comfy. I got them in my usual size for doll skill, which is a US 8. It always works. I have a bunch of shoes from them. Well, from their exclusive brands because they sell a lot of different brands, but these ones are the ones they design. So from their exclusive brands, a US 8 always works perfectly for me. If anything, a tiny bit big, just enough for me to wear socks comfortably if I decided to do so, which I usually do with boots and things like that because it's not so comfortable to wear them with just fistness. For those of you who might want a reference, my feet are 24.5 centimeters and I really like how a US 8 fits on me. It's not tight at all, but it's not big enough for them to move around or be uncomfortable. The only thing I should mention about these boots is that they're a little bit heavy. I'm not sure exactly how much they weigh, but they are heavier than your average pair of shoes. This is something I don't have a problem with because I grew up wearing new rocks, but maybe some people are not super comfortable with heavy shoes, so I'm just letting you know. I am really excited about these boots. I'm obsessed with them. I'm really happy I finally got them. Wasn't sure if I should get them or not because I already have so many shoes, but I decided to get them because they're completely different from everything I have. And I, I'm really glad I did. They fit perfectly, they're super comfy, and they look great in my room. Moving on to the next brand we have for today, I'm gonna start with Devil Inspired because I have a couple of things that I received from them lately. I always pick things from Blood Supply because I know they have a lot of beautiful Lolita dresses and I want some of them, but Blood Supply is one of my favorite brands as well. So I picked this dress that was sold out before. I tried to get it a few months back, but it was sold out in my size. And here it is, it comes in two pieces, so I'm first going to try on the dress itself and then I'm going to put this on. This is it, what do you think? I think it's super pretty, it looks almost like a wedding dress, but a corpse bride wedding dress, if that makes sense. I love the fabric, I only have a set from this fabric, this exact same fabric, and lace and color and everything, it's from the same collection, and I don't know, I'm obsessed with it, but I've got to tell you something before I start showing you the full thing. The arms are not meant for regular sized arms. Mine are really small and it's still super tight. This part in here is a little bit stretchy, so that's why I'm not breaking it or anything. But I can feel that that part is quite tight. My arms are really small, so maybe if yours are slightly bigger, this will be too tight. And, I don't know, I think it's difficult to lift my arms with it because, first of all, because it's not stretchy, second of all, because of the arm thing. So, yeah, maybe not the most comfortable one, unless you have really, really thin arms. Other than that, I think it is really beautiful. The fabric looks really nice. I think it's just perfect. I love the color and everything about it. But the way the sleeves fit me is not ideal. So I think it's time to put this part on and make it look like an actual wedding dress. I personally think it goes this way because otherwise the tag would be on the front and it would look really ugly, so I'm gonna do it like this. I'm already noticing that it's too big for me. This is all the lace part, so I'm gonna have to tie it weirdly for it to suit my waist. Now that it's all on, if I am completely honest, I like the dress but I don't love it, especially because I had to tie this part way too much with the lace and everything making a knot because it was way too big for my waist so yeah in that sense I'm not super happy I wish this part was made to measure considering how small the dress is so it would fit my waist but yeah I think it would look a little bit better when I tie everything individually but I can't do it right now because I'm already wearing the dress and I have no one to ask for help the dress has an optional veil on the listing I also got it it's really big, but I'm gonna show you next to the dress. This is white, this is gray. I was a little bit disappointed because I expected both things to be the same color. And for a white lace veil, I don't think it makes sense if you have something else to wear with the dress already because it's not exactly matching, so it's not like it is designed to be worn with this. I don't know if I should, well, I can like undo it like this. But I'm not gonna worry because I honestly have no idea how this should go. Like, I'm not sure if I should do it maybe like this. 
I guess. Or tie it to something in my hair. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of weddings and stuff like that. I love wedding dresses, by the way, when they're fancy and black or grey and those things, but I don't like weddings at all. So I have no idea how to wear a veil. So yeah, I'll probably ask someone for help because I don't know how to put this on. Next from Blood Supply, I got this coat. It looks really pretty. I have it here and I'm a little bit obsessed with it. It is a lot more beautiful in person than it is in the photos or you might be seeing it here. It has this beautiful snake skin pattern all over. It's slightly shiny so it's somewhere between leather and PVC. I really like it. Then it has some velvet parts on the front and it has a lot of things for the core like these crosses, these plaques here. So it's really one of a kind. Let's try this on. By the way, I'm wearing this on top of this dress even if I know it's not a very good match because I wanted to see the coat properly so I wanted to wear something bright underneath. I know you cannot see the full thing here. I will insert some clips where you can see the full coat but yeah, it's so pretty. Look at the bottoms. Look at the crosses here, look at everything, and I'm obsessed with it. By the way, I got the smallest size for both things, and while the dress mostly fits me, that is a little bit big. I wish it was a tiny bit more like fitted, but I think it's designed to be like this. I'm not sure if oversized coats look that good on me, but I love the design so much, I don't really care. Regarding sizes, I think blood supply runs a little bit small. I usually go for an extra small from Doll Skill or Killstar, but when it comes to blood supply, a small usually fits me perfectly. In any case, they have detailed size charts for every item on the web, so you can pick your perfect fit. Make sure you check your measurements and you get something that fits you rather than go for your usual size, because as I'm saying, it runs quite small from my experience with all the brands. Now this coat, I seem to remember it was an SM, that's why it's slightly big for me because it's more aimed to fit a small or a small M I, I would say, but yeah, I still like it and I think it looks really good. I'm really digging this look and I think it's perfect for what I'm about to show you, which is a widget board. This is from Pandora Witch Shop. I love everything they have. These are handmade in Ukraine. I know they're a little bit pricey, but they are totally worth it. They look stunning in real life. I hope I can show you how they are because I know sometimes it's hard to convey how beautiful something is. These are made of wood, not plastic, and they are hand painted and hand carved. That's why they're quite pricey, but they are so beautiful and they look so good. I've had them for a while. But I just realized I never showed you here. So yeah, this is one of the widget boards that I have from them. These are available in different sizes, but this is like the most handy one. It's not small, but it's not too big because I have another one that's a lot bigger. But let me show you the planchette because I have it here. And no, this is not the best way to show you. So I will probably insert another clip because I'm holding everything and, you know, covering things with my hands. But yeah, this is it. Maybe you can see it better this way. It is really, really beautiful. This is the back. I also got this one, which is a tiny bit bigger. This one's not as handy anymore, but it looks stunning. I really wish I had somewhere in my room to place this. Although they have a lot of different designs and color options, I went with silver and black for both because I think it's something you won't get tired of as easily and something that matches almost everything perfectly. This is the planchette, so, so pretty and cute. And the back. These are colors that go well with everything, no matter what look you're going for. And I think with the dress I'm wearing right now, they're just perfect, so maybe I should make a photo shoot with all of this because I think it's really, really fit in. Since I forgot the names of these widget boards, I will leave all the info in the description box as well as the links for Pandora Witch shop because I know you might want to check them out and it will be a lot easier if I give you the name or the links. I thought that was going to be everything for the video but I just remembered I have a couple of things that I never showed you here. 
or probably on Instagram other than on stories. So I recently got this wig from Wig is Fashion. I've gotten things from them in the past that I really liked. One of my favorite things is the way they send their things because look at this cute satin bag. I think it's really nice. It comes with some wig caps inside and now here is the wig. By the way, I think you all know already but I always wear wigs for these videos because my hair is like platinum blonde, lilac and it blends with the background and I don't like it. And here is the wig. It is black with grey bangs. I personally wished the bangs, at least the grey part, was a little bit longer because I wanted it to be a little bit more grey on the front. But other than that, I think it's really beautiful. It's super silky, it's not shedding at all. The quality looks really nice. This is it on the inside. It has this kind of construction. It doesn't have lace all over, which is good and bad. It's bad because sometimes the hairs come inside when you don't have that extra net, but good because it's easier to use bobby pins to secure it in place. And as I'm seeing, it doesn't have any kind of clips already in it, so some bobby pins would work pretty well. It has this adjustable thing, but yeah, some wigs also have extra pins in here. This one doesn't, so some extra help would be really good. And this is it, closer up. This is what it has in here, it has like an imitation scalp. It's only this big, but I think it makes it look a lot more realistic. And I love when wigs, even if they're not super high priced wigs, have it. Don't act shocked, this is my real hair. You see how little contrast there is between the background and me, so not the best for videos. So I'm gonna put on this wig cap. I prefer these fishnet ones and then I'm gonna put on the wig. Right now the bangs are too long and I'm gonna have to cut them before I can wear this wig comfortably, but I see a lot of potential. I really love the colors. As I said before, it's super silky and soft and nice and it's not shedding. As I mentioned, I wish this part was a little bit longer or there was more grey on the front. Other than that, I am really happy with this wig, so thanks to Wig is Fashion for sending it over because it looks really cute. And now, finally, this is the last brand I'm going to show you. I've gotten a couple of things from Pixie Beauty. I love this brand. I know not everyone in here is super into skincare, but this is the brand I use the most together with The Ordinary. I think I only use those two brands right now for skincare. I haven't tried this product yet, but this brand is one of my favorites. This is a face mask to wear while you're in the shower. It is activated with steam and heat. I haven't tried it on, but I am usually so happy with Pixi products that I know I'm gonna love this. It's called In Shower Steam Facial. It has something I don't know how to pronounce, so I'm not gonna try it. Collagen and peptides, and this is supposed to cleanse, nourish, and plump fine lines. Pixi also sent me this tiny box. These are eye patches, and they're supposed to restore, replenish, rejuvenate, and nourish. I haven't had a chance to try them yet, but I really love their PR packages. They're so aesthetically pleasing. Anyway, here are the patches. I haven't opened them yet and I don't want to open them until I'm going to use them because I know these things have an expiration date as every beauty product. Not everyone knows that, but once you open everything, there's a tiny thing in the box telling you how many months you can keep it open. And for this one is six months. What I want to show you from them as well is something I have been using a lot lately and if you watch my latest makeup tutorial here it was like a vampire halloween look i used this at the beginning of the video this is what i've been using it's like an essence oil thingy that you use on your face before makeup you have to shake it so it makes it swell but this is what i've been using before doing my makeup every day for the past few months i only use a couple of drops a little goes a long way my face is kind of oily so I was afraid at first but it never made me break out or anything it just makes everything look perfect it makes the makeup stop creasing and all of that it is called Rose Plus Essence Oil and I'm a huge fan I'm super happy that I decided to give it a go because at first I was skeptical because my skin is kind of oily in some parts and acne prone 
but I didn't have any problem with it and I am so so happy I decided to try it. That was everything for today, I hope you liked at least some of the things I showed you today. I know it was a weird mix but it was a collective haul from all the things I've received lately and I really wanted to show you guys because yeah I'm a little bit bored of doing specific brand reviews so I thought that was a little bit more interesting. I don't know what you thought about it, let me know in the comments down below if you liked this idea or would you prefer specific brand reviews. I'm of course gonna go back to that at some point, probably soon, <laughs> I don't really know. So let me know in the comments what you thought about this video and what you would like to see next. I really hope you had a good time here with me and I hope I see you again in my next video. Bye!